okay, this is odd, I would say. A, I'm posting a video out of my regular posting schedule, and I hope this is up before uh, 5 o'clock uh, Central European time. I'm wearing an Australia shirt. Why Australia? And yeah, I'm doing a video that I actually wanted to do yesterday in the evening. It's a small matter of the Asian Cup. Um, full disclosure, I, I'm only peripherally interested in the Asian Cup. Yes, I follow it. When I know it's on, I follow the results, but I think I've never ever seen a game from the Asian Cup. Uh, mostly due to the fact that there is no station that is properly broadcasting it. Um, but what I remember from the 2015 version, that it was actually a pretty boring overall tournament in the sense that um, the favorites always won. I think the only favorite that did not win was Iran against Iraq in the quarterfinals, which was the game of the tournament. But everything else went more or less by the book and, you know, we had already everyone qualified after the second round of play or something to that effect. Uh, it was hard for me to get really, really excited. I think the one, I, I remember, I think China won the group and that was kind of a surprising result. So, yeah, um, Asian Cup is a little bit the, I don't want to say ugly step sister because I'm, it's not ugly per se, but... Uh, a little bit an overlooked tour tournament um i put it somewhat on level with the gold cup for me i the tournaments the is of course the euros the copa america and then uh the africa cup of nations although the africa cup, cup, cup of nations probably dishes up a worse soccer than the asian cup at times uh the teams are so level that there's always a lot of excitement uh due to those uh, situations so i have watched africa cup quite a lot and for that reason, yeah, Asian Cup uh, the, is not that high up on my list. Uh, but yeah, it is happening and it starts today in the United Arab Emirates. And it's a new edition with 24 teams instead of 16, which is already the first point that I find. And I know that the Africa Cup of Nations does the same thing. Um, they follow the Euros. And it's. I think it's a cash grab. Don't tell me that you want to give other teams uh, a chance of competing. Yes, we have three new nations in there. I want to say Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, and uh, Vietnam. Nah, we have, we, we, Vietnam was already a um, host. We'll get to it when we uh, are there. Um, but I honestly feel, when I look at the groups, there is absolutely no excitement within the groups themselves, except maybe some tricky matchups. But overall, there was no group where I'm saying, Ooh, I really gotta see this. And um, I did a prediction that I will uh, no, not prediction, I went by what the book is, uh, Betfair and Bet365 are saying, uh, and made a projected tournament that way, which is the most likely outcome. It's usually a good way to see how where things are going. Uh, and I didn't have the time to do it myself. For the last Asian Cup, I actually did um, regular updates on it. I wanted to do it, but I literally didn't have the time for it. So yeah, uh, why am I an Australia shirt? Because that's the only team that, that I own a shirt of uh, from uh, the Asian Cup is Australia. And uh, there's uh, some story attached to it, and I'll tell you about this uh, when I talk about this shirt. And yes, I should have a Japan shirt. Uh, meanwhile, for sure, I have never been to Japan, but I have a good friend that uh, went to school with me. She was from uh, originally from Japan. And so, you know, there is some uh, relationships that I have with Japan. But yeah, I don't have yet. And I would love to have a few more from Asia. China, India come to mind. So, let's get into it. Um, the Asian Cup is played in the United Arab Emirates, which is the second big tournament within almost a month. I mean, they just had the Club World Cup, and now they have the Asian Cup. Um, I don't know much about host selection, but, you know, it seemingly always goes between Eastern Asia and the Arab world. And the Emirates probably deserve to have this tournament themselves. So I think um, the whole selection is oh, is okay. What I found very interesting, if you look at a map where all the qualified countries are colored in, that really um, area-wise a lot of countries have qualified. I mean, going to 2024, that's automatically going to happen. But most notably, almost all the Arab 
except for Kuwait, who either was excluded or disqualified, something like that. Kuwait is the only team that is not there. Uh, I think the other team that uh, did not participate in any qualification for one reason or, or another, I excuse me, I uh, uh, forgive me, I have not really checked up on it, I probably should have, is Indonesia, uh, which is another big spot. But uh, really many have qualified, uh, which makes for an interesting tournament. And I think um, it will probably give an advantage to the Arab teams over the uh, Eastern Asian teams. I think it is interesting because Australia is kind of in a transition phase. I have a feeling that Japan... Similarly, Korea will get Son from uh, Tottenham in great form and there will be others. So I think uh, Korea is probably a team that could threaten a lot. And then there's Iran who, yeah, well, they get all the best players and they had great performances at the World Cup and entered the tournament as one of the two favorites. I think it's between uh, Iran and South Korea if you go by paper form. And as we will see, the draw sets up nicely for the Emirates. That if everything goes as planned, the Emirates have a pretty decent uh, path to the semifinals. Which probably is a good thing for the tournament to keep the interest high. Um, I really would like to do a jersey review, but we already know that most teams will play, in the ones that were at the World Cup will play in the jerseys they played at the World Cup, I assume. Um, but I haven't found almost anything. Uh, and if I find, I, uh, maybe during the tour tournament, if I see uh, the teams, I will probably do a jersey review because I really would like to do that. Because they are, they are very interesting countries in there. Uh, and, you know, exotic countries always tickling my fancy for jersey reviews. I'm always looking forward to it. The Africa Cup of Nations is wonderful because you get so many crazy jerseys. And I'm looking forward for Asia as well. I mean, I want to see Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan. I want to see the Philippines and what they're playing. We know that India, for some reason, is playing in blue. Um, I want to see the true China Way jersey. It would be so great if they play in their black one, but they won't. But yeah, without having that, let's quickly look through the groups and how I see the tournament goes. And um, that's my first take. I really hope this post before the first game, but I think since there's only one game today, uh, it will not be too much out of sync with my predictions unless the Emirates lose that game, which I don't think will happen. So let's ha uh, have a straight look. Uh, Group A is the Emirates, Thailand, Bahrain and India. And I think the um, first game is between the Emirates and Bahrain. Um, I think the Emirates will win this group as home team. Thailand is one of those teams that have kind of their last chance. There was a nice video on T for football on them. Um, they probably could shine. We have Bahrain, uh, third place, and India is the weakest team of those uh, four. And therefore, I see them going out. Then, let's look at Group B, which is Australia, Syria, Jordan, and Palestine. Uh, it's very interesting that Jordan and Palestine are playing again in a group against each other. And I know Palestine did actually quite well at the last uh, Asian Cup. Um, I'm not sure if they made the second round, but they actually had quite the support. Um, so, yeah. It's Australia and three almost neighboring nations. And Syria, Jordan and uh, Palestine are right next to each other. I still think it will go Australia, Syria, Jordan and Palestine. But I think it's a close one between Syria and Jordan. And Palestine could be kind of this team that uh, puts a wrench into it. I'm not convinced that Australia is a good team, but they might uh, actually, I think they should make it out of this group. But you know, it's played in the Arab world, so this might cause some trouble for Australia. By the way, if you hear some noise here, these are my kids playing in the room next door, and that's why I have to sometimes um, interrupt the videos, and that's why you have to change this. Group C is more of an Eastern Asian group. We have the favorites South Korea, China, Kyrgyzstan and the Philippines in there. Um, I don't see anything else but Korea and China going through and I don't think that either Kyrgyzstan or Philippines will be among the best uh, th third place teams. Um, they are just too off the pace. I think Korea will romp through this group, will probably rack up quite some um, goals. China is an aging squad. I'm a little bit, I mean, Marcello Lippi is the coach uh, for his last tournament. I'm just a little bit, uh, I don't know what to think about China, on, on honestly. Um, I don't rate them highly in this tournament, let's put it that way. 
Group D is a, another very interesting group because it's Iran, Iraq, Vietnam, and Yemen. Uh, and I think exactly in that order they will finish. Uh, Vietnam has having a little bit of resurgent. I'm, Yemen, I unfortunately, I think they will be uh, underdogs. I think Yemen is the other team that has never qual 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 qualified. Uh, so, yeah. I think Iran, Iraq will play for first place and Vietnam and Yemen uh, will play for third. I think Vietnam will make it. So Iran, Iraq, Vietnam and Yemen. Then Group E is Saudi Arabia, Qatar, North Korea and Lebanon. Um, again, in that order, I think North Korea will be pesky to play against, but ultimately they will not make it. I don't think they will even qualify among the best third place teams. Uh, Qatar should get something going meanwhile or Qatar. I should say Qatar is it's a, the, pro, the proper name. I, but I still think that Saudi Arabia will be ahead of them. Uh, politically, it's interesting, of course, since Saudi Arabia, Qatar is yeah, not very much on friendly terms. And then another perennial favorite is in Group F with Japan. There's Uzbekistan, which is always good at the Asian Cup. They are, they are one of those teams where you always think uh, semi-final in a way. Uh, Oman and Turkmenistan. I think Oman will snatch the third uh, spot, but it should be Japan uh, over Uzbekistan, Oman and Turkmenistan, which will set up a falling bracket. I, let's do uh, the upper quarter uh, where Thailand would play against China, which is a game that I honestly, this will be a close one. Um, China is favored. That's why I would say China goes on. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Thailand makes uh, the run there. And then Iran would play against Oman. So uh, I said in Group C and E are the ones, um, so Kyrgyzstan and North Korea are the ones where I don't see the third place team going on. So, and by the arithmetic that they have, it would be then Iran playing Oman. Um, of course, Iran is going to go through that. Australia. In the, oh no, and let's finish up then China against Iran. Iran will finish this easily. I think in that quarter, Iran, if Iran wins the group, I think they look quite well to make it to the semifinals. So first semifinalist for me would be Iran. Uh, the next one is Australia, Bahrain. Um, despite my doubts about Australia, and despite me wearing an Australia shirt, uh, with having these doubts, um, I see Australia going on, and then J Japan will play Qatar, which is an interesting matchup. Uh, just seeing how much Qatar is coming. Again, I don't see anything but a Japanese victory there, which would set up a classic, meanwhile, Australia against Japan. Ever since Australia joined in 2006, after the 2006 World Cup, um, Australia-Japan has been kind of the predominant, uh, preeminent rivalry, although it's waning a little bit with Australia kind of aging, the golden generation is going away and needs to be replaced. So Australia, Japan, and I think Japan will go on, which sets up an Iran-Japan uh, semi-final. Next quarter, Korea against Jordan, uh, South Korea will go through there, and then I have Saudi Arabia against Iraq. This could be a tight one again, uh, but I would say Saudi Arabia goes through, sets up South Korea against Saudi Arabia, will be a tightly contested game. I think uh, the quality of the South Koreans will um, see them through. And then you will see now how nicely it is for the Emirates. Uh, Emirates against Vietnam, not a super easy match, but something that the Emirates should uh, win any day. And Syria against Uzbekistan. Um, Syria could have a slight advantage, but I think that Uzbekistan has the... Um, better team. So we have an Emirates against Uzbekistan quarter final and with home field advantage I think the Emirates will go through there. So therefore we have in the quarters, uh, in the semis we have Iran against Japan and Korea against the Emirates. I think Iran and Korea should go through there although Iran against Japan this is a matchup you know Japan has a really tough route but this is a match I would like to see Iran against Japan. Um, and then I think Korea will end the run of the hosts and we have Iran against Korea in the final. If I believe the bookies, uh, Korea is a slight favorite. If you believe the pundits, they would say Iran is slightly favored because Iran has uh, an impeccable record over the past few years under Carlos Garrosh. I think they've only lost to Portugal in the uh, past two or three years. Uh, so they're the big favorites. Um, South Korea, they don't win the Asian Cup that easily. 
They were close last time, 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 time around, but uh, didn't make it. Lost to Australia, uh, which are the holders, of course. Uh, but this is kind of their holy grail, and I think Iran, um, yeah, they have been a really strong team over the years. So it's going to be interesting with that. I'm saying now Iran will win it uh, because of the proximity to home, but I really don't know how big their support uh, will be, but that's going to be an interesting one to watch. Well, I hope this gives you a little bit of an insight into the Asian Cup world. I mean, solely my perspective, I should have maybe studied up a little bit more, but I read a few articles ahead of uh, making this video. I went through the tournament. Uh, I think I have uh, some understanding of how things in Asia work slightly. Um, I wish I could see some games. I truly wish that I could see some games. Maybe this will change my perspective on the Asian Cup in general. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.